Right guys, back for another Dokkan battle video and today we'll be using LR full power freezer at 55% level 10 links and we'll be taking him into the legendary Vegeta event. Um, at this point I have already actually taken him into the GT legendary Goku event but I haven't actually uh, edited or rendered or even uploaded that video so I have no idea when this video will come out and no idea when that video will come out but it is what it is. Uh, today we'll be, we will be using him on a double int Broly Elite, so that's movie bosses and planetary destruction and I will be trying to link him up with tech transforming freezer which by the way as well he's completely done he's 100% fully easy aid level 10 link so that will be interesting to see as well uh, rotations actually that's pretty good pretty good opening rotations exactly what I wanted I wanted a full power freezer with the transforming freezer and then I wanted Vegeta with um, what's his face uh, int Broly I think See, I actually want to do this, um, just because if I do that, you know, if I do this, I feel like full power freezer will finish off um, Vegeta here, and I don't really want that because I want this guy stacking as well. But if he takes a super, he's going to take a lot of damage. I mean, here's the thing: either way, um, actually, no, we can get the 18 key, right? Yeah, we can, I believe. If we do, that's four orbs there. So let's do this. No, that will lose the AGL orb. God damn it, this is like tough. Uh, let's do... Okay, big brain play. Let's do this. Then we'll do this. No. We gotta do this. But we'll be wonky shy. What is this? Okay, we'll do this. Yeah, and then there we go. There's your number support. So that will get Freezer his 18 key. I'll be honest, you know, it is nice um, to, you know, put Freezer in slot 1 in a scenario like that. And get him the additional super attack, but I need Freezer to... 18 key as often as possible because after turn 6 he loses 100% defense and so if you haven't stacked I'd say at least 3 times he can be a detriment in the final phase. I don't really care about his attack stats because he's already going to be doing like 5-6 mil attack stats even in the latter phase and if he double supers uh, like that in slot 2 or 3 or if we put him in slot 1 and he gets a hit his additional will be 4-5 or five mil anyway and that's pretty good for 55% unit so Looks like we had a pretty good opening turn. You know, it would have been nice if Vegeta didn't super attack the transforming freezer, but it is what it is. Uh, let's just move on to turn three. Okay, so again, I'm going to put tech transforming freezer in slot one. Uh, we'll actually grab the tech up for a bit of healing as well. We'll have full power freezer in slot two. That's still an 18 key. That's pretty good. Um, as for his links, those are his links that he currently has active. I believe he'll jump to five links active when freezer goes into his third form. So we're sending at 231k defense, which is actually pretty impressive. We'll grab the tech orb here. I don't think the transforming freezer will finish Vegeta off, but it kind of depends if he crits or additional super attacks. Please don't. Okay, there's a crit. No additional. Are you kidding me? Okay, uh, let's just move on. That is actually, that's annoyed me. That's annoyed me so much. All right, so here we are. I'm actually going to prioritize freezer this time around. So it is a bit of a juxtaposition because again, I want this guy to super attack as much as possible because he will stop stacking once he got, well, sorry, once he gets to his golden form. Um, but like I've missed an 18 key stack with this guy now. So that is very unfortunate. Uh, we'll just give him that. And I don't think the third form freezer or Broly for that matter will get an attack in. Again, he's just sitting at 231k. That's a shame. Uh, it probably would have been over 320 after this 18 key if I'd got in an 18 key in the previous turn as well. In fact, I think this 18 key will finish Vegeta off as well. I don't think uh, Freezer will get a chance to do his 12. Although it would be good if he did. Okay, no, he will. Okay, hold on. I think. I think, um, you know, unless this guy doesn't do an additional from the hidden potential, uh, that transforming freezer may get an attack. <laughs> okay, cool, that actually worked out. So let's just see what happens uh, the next time we see full power freezer. All right, so we are back on turn number seven. There's a few things to keep in mind. Uh, full power freezer has now lost his, uh, I was going to say additional, but his original 100% attack and defense for six turns. He now just picks up a 50% attack buff from the seventh turn, which is now. Uh, another thing is that I've kept him in slot number two. One reason is that the tech transforming freezer now gets a, another super attack stack, which is really, really useful because this will be the last one until he transforms into his golden state. Uh, and then the other advantage is that, as you can see on screen, full power freezer is getting nightmare from the floating Janemba. So he's sitting at 190k defense, probably would have been at 220, 230 if we had got the 18 key on his second appearance. But again, there's not really anything that I can do about that anymore. Um, 5.4 from this guy is pretty good. I don't think he'll finish Vegeta off. Again, that will annoy me if he does. No, I think even if he additional super attacked, he wouldn't. 
Yeah, so 5.6, pretty good. I wouldn't, you know, I would like it if this freezer did perform the additional super attack. Of course, him and Goku have that 30% chance to launch one uh, in slot 2 or 3, but never mind, he just finished Vegeta off. So we'll move on to turn whatever the next turn is. Okay, so we are back turn 9. Uh, this will be good, we'll get an 18 key for full power freezer. I was actually taking a look at the defensive stats. Um, this freezer is absolutely insane, 303k. So after he super attacks, you know, 303 times 1.3, uh, his defense is going to be 393k. That's just absolutely... Uh, for a non-defensive... I mean, he, uh, technically he's a defensive stacking unit, but he only stacks like four, like, you know, four times essentially. That's absolutely insane for that freezer. Because again, on this appearance, he will also guarantee crit. Uh, that is, of course... Unless full power freezer doesn't finish Vegeta off. Oh, please give me the Delco mode. Okay, thank God. Yeah, uh, this should do a good amount of damage. Uh, I think Freezer what, was also at 225k defense, so he should be decent defensively. Make sure we click these nodes. There we go. What was that attack stat? 5.2? No, he's just at 5. Okay, that's fine. Um, again, we really haven't been grabbing his, eight, uh, sorry, his 18 key, his 12 key uh, that much, so... That's why his attack stat isn't like 6 million at the minute. But again, this is just the 18 key. So at full 24, the attack stat would have been higher than 5 mil. We have a guaranteed additional coming at 4.4. Pretty good. And I think, actually, that the transforming freezer will finish off Vegeta here. He should do anyway. Okay. Any super attacks? Any super attacks? Any super attacks? No supers. Okay. 6.2. This guy's essentially sitting at a 12 mil attack stat for this turn. Even if we take away the critical chance uh, on his first appearance, that is a crazy attack stat for the amount of defense that he has. Let's move on to turn 11. Right guys, here we are on turn 11 now. Uh, that Saiyan Saga Vegeta, I thought his defense would have been high enough, but he took 350k from a super attack. So we got a heal and unfortunately I don't actually have a Sensu Bean with me, so we're going to have to pop the Android 8 item, which does give Freezer an extra 50% defense, so his defense is going to look largely inflated but there's not really anything else that I can do um, we'll do this with the transforming freezer and then Broly can have the physical orbs here so again if he does take a super attack take the amount of damage that he takes from the super with a grain of salt because uh, of course it's kind of inflated so 5.5 pretty good we'll get the guaranteed additional attack I just don't think his defense is going to be high enough because we're, we're pretty much what one more phase until we see evolution blue Vegeta if Evolution Blue Vegeta um, super attacks me and then hits Freezer for like two normals, I think we could die um, for sure. So let's just see. Uh, I, it may honestly be better just to put this guy in slot one uh, and then we can have full power Freezer in slot two. But again, we'll have to wait and see. Really good damage actually by these two Freezers. Absolutely incredible. Hopefully Broly goes crazy as well. 2.2 from my Broly. I did actually have to float off my Broly because my Broly was out sitting at like close to 300k defense and the friend was like at 170 uh, even though the friend has like multiple dupes so I thought we'd um, we'd float my Broly and we can keep the friend Broly on and give him a few stacks and it's funny he actually performed four supers um, in the previous turn so that's pretty good uh, but yeah let's just see what happens in the next turn okay I'm actually interested let's just keep this rolling how much damage does he take here can't be more than 150 surely wow Broly Broly's sick man but that's a 55% Broly, which, I mean, his, de his defensive stat would have been fairly high, but damn, uh, Broly tanked that very well. Okay, guys, so this will probably be the final stack of Freezer's 18 key if we can get it. Uh, I'm going to actually avoid using the active skill for now. I'm going to see if we can try and get it against Vegeta, but we'll have to wait and see. We have to try and get four orbs with Janemba, which it looks like we can, and that will, of course, activate or grant Freezer to get his 18 key. So his defense is at 297k. Yeah, that seems to be where he maxed out against the GT Legendary Goku event as well. Okay, that's a shame because that... Is this going to kill me? I feel like this might be death. Okay, no, 264. Okay, done a lot of damage. Um, 6 mil is the attack stat. Whew, this is going to be tough, man, because like if, if he took 300k, almost 300k from a super from this guy, what's he going to take from Evolution Blue Vegeta? Damn, I just, this is where I like it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I keep saying this in my videos. I just, I think for shorter, shorter events, Freezer is definitely the better character than Goku. But I just prefer um, Int LR Super Saiyan Goku for the longer events because that double defensive stack and not having to worry about manipulating the keyboard or the board to grant 
Goku to get his, to his 18 key, rather he just needs to get it to his 12 key, he's going to be a lot more better. But um, that's just my opinion, let's just move on to the final phase. I think, honestly, actually we'll let this keep rolling, I think I may have to pop an item here. Actually, we should be good, right? Um, actually, they're at 330k, I'm not, I'm not too sure. Uh, okay, we're going to pop a Android 8. Yeah, okay, we'll pop an Android 8 here, and we'll make a cut, and we'll return with Freezer. Okay, so we're back on turn 15. Now, bear in mind, um, even though Freezer's defensive stat is very high at this point, sorry, very higher, very high at this point, 499k, we did have to pop the Android 8 item in the previous turn. I have no idea if his Vegeta is going to super attack in slot 1. I just hope that we don't die um, until we get to see Freezer super attack him, although I'm not really looking forward to it. Uh, Broly took 175k. And, of course, Vegeta lowered his defense, but he was taking double digits after that. But, like, if Broly's taking damage, what's Freezer going to take? Uh, so, yeah, let's just go ahead and see. I mean, normals will be fine. Yeah, normals are fine. Uh, just waiting on that super attack. I have no idea where it is. I mean, I probably made a mistake. Uh, I probably should have bought the Scouter item. But, again, like, you're limited to two items per, uh, per run. So, it can be very difficult in terms of what you need to bring in terms of items. Um, let's just see Vegeta supers. If not, like, this is going to be a very long recording session because I'm just going to have to keep coming back in until... Okay, there we go. We go... Okay, this is good, um, but it's not, quote-unquote, the true uh, damage that he would take. 238k. So I presume without the Android 8 item, he would have taken... What's a fair number? Um, like 250... No, not 250. He probably would have taken around 280, maybe even 300. Which is not enough to get me killed, um, but it's not that great either. And I actually have no healing, healing items at this point, so this is very interesting. Uh, we'll, we'll continue going. If we die, of course, I'll cut to the end of the video, but let's just see. Right, guys, so uh, unfortunately, we didn't actually make it. Um, that bum, SSB Vegeta, he super attacked the Saiyan Saga Vegeta, which, I mean, I'm pretty sure he had just over 400k defense and he still took around 300 odd k from the super attack i can't remember was it 300k it might have been 250 or even 350 i wasn't really looking or paying attention too much and of course we died uh, but it is it is what it is uh, i'm not really going to jump back in because i think we've seen enough i'm pretty sure freezer would have actually taken double digits um from the ssb vegeta even after his defense being lowered uh, and again we didn't actually get to see that but the way that he lowers defense, again, I'm, I'm not, I don't know how exa exactly how it works, but he lowers like the stacked amount of defense. So, uh, you know, Freezer typically will start off with, start out with 100% attack and defense. Freezer will not, sorry, not Freezer, SSB E Vegeta will not lower 80% of that defense, rather 80% of the stacked defense that he's obtained throughout the event. So I still think Freezer would have, sorry, Freezer would have taken double digits, um, but you know, taking 230, 250k isn't that great. Uh, especially since we'd used the Android 8 item as well in the previous turn. Um, so it is what it is. Um, let me know what you guys think of Frieza. Uh, he's still pretty good, right? He's still amazing for the event. Um, it's just Goku, far and away, I think he's better in the GT Legendary Goku event and the Legendary Vegeta event. I'm yet to do a showcase, but I don't really think I even need to do one. Double defensive stacks is just a lot more powerful than the singular um, offensive stack. And again, sometimes you'll find yourself in a position to where you may not even be able to get the singular 18 key for Freezer. But again, that, it just depends on dupe systems, right? Because I'm pretty sure, like, someone's put a video out there, level 10 links, Freezer, 100%. He may have even done, like, five or six health bars to that Vegeta, right? In the right in the right scenario for him. So um, that's full power Freezer against the Legendary Vegeta event. We've done the Legendary Vegeta event. We've done the GT Legendary Goku event. I've done the Legendary Goku event as well. And um, there's really only the God event left to do, but, I, I, you know, I tried making a team, um... I don't really think I can make a team for him in that event, so we'll, we'll go ahead and see. Uh, but thank you, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think of Frieza. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.
ちなんだ！